Let's go directly to uh, Kansas, where Bob Dole is at the microphones, prepared to make a statement. Bob Dole returned to his home state after a 96-hour marathon in the last days of the campaign. Actually, he's in Washington, D.C. Uh, he's at his campaign headquarters in Washington, and he's ready to address his supporters after uh, a long, hard-fought race. And uh, Bob Dole, the loser tonight, uh, actually uh, not even that good a showing around the country, losing some Republican stronghold states. And uh, here he goes. Let's hear what Bob Dole has to say. thinking on the way down the elevator, tomorrow will be the first time in my life I don't have anything to do. <laughs> but I wanted to come down and thank all of you. You've done a great job, and I'm very proud of Trent. We're going to keep the Senate. We're going to keep the House. We had a good visit, and I congratulated him. And I've said, no. No. I've said repeatedly, wait. I've said repeatedly in this, I've said repeatedly in this campaign that the president is my opponent, not my enemy. And I wish him well, and I pledge my support in whatever advances the cause of a better America, is that what the race was about in the first place? A better America as we go into the next century. And I'm very proud also of my teammate, Jack Kemp. I've talked to Jack, and I thank Jack Kemp. And I, I want to thank not only Jack, but his wife, Joanne, who did an outstanding job and all the Kemp family for the work they did in this campaign. And obviously, I want to thank two outstanding women. My daughter, Robin, who did a great job. And of course, my wife, Elizabeth, who's traveled this country. They've, they've both been with me in this in this 96 hour marathon and we had a great time we had great crowds and a lot of enthusiasm at three o'clock this morning i guess it was we're in independence missouri and i never saw so many people in one place so excited about the republican party and let me say a special word Let me say a special word to all the young Americans, the young people who were involved in my campaign. You have been, you have been a constant source of inspiration for Elizabeth and myself. But it, and, it, and I might, I might add. You're not going to get that tax cut if you don't be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> and I would say to the young people and all the others involved, 
It's a lot more fun winning. It hurts to lose an election. But stay involved and keep fighting the good fight. Because... because you are the ones who will make the 21st century the next American century. And I... And I don't want anybody... I don't want anybody to pass out here, but I also want to thank all the media that traveled with me on the plane. They, and all my friends. No, 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 come on. No, 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 no come, on. come on. All of my friends, and we have many friends in the media, and they were, they were there every day, every night, every day, and every night as we flew around this country. And we met hundreds and thousands and thousands of good people all across America who want a better America and will continue to working for a better America. And as I look around the night and I came in, I saw a lot of very special people who've been helping me for the last 10, 15, 20, 25 years. And I say thank you for all you've done because I know your support. Because I know that because of your support, I am still the most optimistic man in America. And I know that... And I know that thousands of you, thousands of you have worked day and night Thousands of you have worked day and night, and millions of you trusted Jack Kemp and me with your vote. And for that, we will always be grateful, and I say thank you very much. And I would say, Haley, you've done an outstanding job. We appreciate it very much. And we've had our co-chairman flying around with us. You've done a great job. We appreciated your being with us. Thank you. And I want to say to my campaign staff, to Scott and to Jill and to Joanne and everyone else, I could not have had a better, more faithful, more loyal team. And I want to thank everybody that will have an opportunity to do that. It's been a long time since I entered politics, uh, way back in 1951. And a lot of things have happened since that time, but some things never change. A few days after I took my seat in the state legislature, a reporter asked me what I had on my agenda. And I said, well, I'm going to sit back and watch for a few days, and then I'll stand up for what I think is right. And any of you wondering what my plans may be in the future, I'm going to sit back for a few days, then I'm going to start standing up for what I think is right for America. And right for you. out there, the millions of people who supported us, I say thank you. We've enjoyed it. It's been a long, long campaign. I've learned a lot. I hope the American people have learned a lot. What we need to do now as Republicans is to come together as we always will, keep the House. We're going to keep the House, going to keep the Senate. We're going to do what we should do for the United States of America. never been prouder in my life than to have been the Republican nominee for President of the United States. So I leave you all tonight 
with a full heart and a fervent prayer that we will meet again and we will meet often. In this land where miracles are always happening, where every day is a new beginning and every life a blessing from God. So I want to say thanks to each one of you here. Thank you for all you've done and all you will do in the future for America. Thank you very much. And America. There you see Bob Dole giving his concession speech tonight. Uh, Bob Dole, who has desperately wanted to be president for a long period of time. He first ran for national office in 1976 as Gerald Ford's running mate. He ran for the Republican nomination in 1980 and lost to Ronald Reagan. Again in 1988 and lost to George Bush. Finally winning the nomination in 1996. And uh, his campaign has ended with 42% of the popular vote. You can see uh, as we take a live picture from Washington as he uh, thanks his supporters there at the campaign headquarters. But again, 42% of the vote for Bob Dole tonight of the popular vote. President Clinton with 50% and Ross Perot with 8%. So if you want to say that there is a Perot factor here, that perhaps Perot has taken away more support from Republicans than from Democrats, uh, that would be the margin of victory for Bill Clinton tonight. Again, Bill Clinton with 50% of the popular vote, Bob Dole 42%, Ross Perot pulling 8% of the popular vote tonight. But uh, there you have it, Bob Dole, a very gracious concession speech. He promises... Winning Indiana, though. Winning Indiana. Winning Indiana. And winning Indiana. And he mm -hmm. promises uh, to be supportive of President Clinton in his next term. We'll have more numbers for you right after this.